Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for coming back again. And on today's episode of Retro Roulette, we are going to be taking a look at another game I've never heard of and know nothing about called Rings of Power on the Sega Genesis. Released in 1991, it's an isometric RPG. Apparently it gets criticized for being a little difficult. Uh, we'll see what that's all about. This is developer Naughty Dog's first game, actually. They created also uh, Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot, Uncharted, and The Last of Us. I haven't really played a few of those, so I don't really know much about their style, except from what I've seen. Without any further ado, let's jump into Rings of Power and see what this game is all about. Okay, it's an electronic arts game. We've been getting a couple of those recently, haven't I? What the? Okay, Naughty Dog. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a character in the game. I'm like, what the hell am I looking at here? Rings of Power. Okay, so continue, start, intro, citizens and credits. What the heck is citizens? Hear about some of the beings you will encounter. Oh, this is cool. It's sort of like a roll call of the, um... Enemies in the game, I'm guessing? Knights have the power to rend objects asunder. This is their symbol. Is that the Fear Factory logo? <laughs> Conjurers use their powers to call perfect images from other worlds. Their symbol is O. And Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerers, okay. Alright, so let's check out the credits. Nah, I'm kidding, we're not going to be doing that. That's fucking boring. <laughs> in the Book of Nexus. Before Nexus, we lived in darkness. The sun shone as brightly as ever, but ours was a darkness of the soul. It was during this bleak time that a terrible plague swept our world, leaving only the strongest of us to carry on. Many have quested to recover the rings and restore the rod of creation to Nexus. All have failed. At the behest of Thalmus, you will be the next to undertake the sacred quest. Good luck on your journey, and may Nexus walk with you. Let's start. <laughs> the adventure begins. Cool. This game's already putting a smile on my face. Okay, so... Yeah, it is an isometric RPG. As usual, Dawn finds you on the path heading into town. Time to go to the academy. Master Thalmus wants to see you. Okay, so... Shows you the buttons up top, which is kind of cool. Let's see, what does our menu look like anyway? Inventory, spells, party, search, map, camp. Some of this seems uh, self-explanatory. Some of it doesn't, but we'll do our best. What is combat? Oh, it changed it down there. Combat. I don't want auto combat. That's kind of lame. All right, out. Out, damn spot, out. All right, I gotta get used to these buttons a little bit. Alright, that's north. Okay, got it. What is that noise? Is that supposed to be water? Okay, so I guess we're gonna go here. It's gonna take a minute to get used to this. The Lobotomy Club sits atop Kogito Falls. The sign reads, Come on in and lose your mind. <laughs> Come on in and lose your mind. Okay, so this game's gonna have a little bit of humor, it seems, in it. Uh, talk. Hey there, Traveler. Welcome to the best tavern in town. Let me know if you want a drink. I could use a drink. Stop me if you've heard this one. A red priest and a black priest walk into a tavern. Yeah, so I knew they were going to inject some silly humor into this, I guess. I have nothing more to say on that topic. Oh, okay, I see. You choose... Okay, got it. You choose what you want them to talk about on the left. Class. I have nothing more to say on that topic. Okay, B is to pick. I'm already getting a little confused. What do you know of the six arts? I'm a sorcerer, of course, not an enormously powerful one, but a sorcerer nonetheless. The mind itself is the center of all power. Through its use, nothing is impossible. I do find it, like, a little weird the way everything's set up, like, being able to see the, the map, I guess you want to call it. game looks kind of ugly. I hope it plays plays well. Movement is a little j janky. Did 
Can I just switch places with you? I just want to talk to you. I'm hitting C to talk. Do I actually have to be, like, facing you? But when I face you, you just switch places with me. Okay, there we go. Isn't this place great? I come here all the time. Yeah, I bet you do, you friggin' drunk. God, sometimes the confirm button keeps switching. What do you know of the six arts? Okay, you say the same thing as that woman did. Let's get out of here. I want to play a little more. Something a little more action-packed. Let's see if we can get into that. Gosh, this game is kind of gross looking. But it also seems like it has the potential to be fun. I don't know what I'm basing that off of, but <laughs> it seems like it could be fun. Like, I just want to talk to this guy, but I can't talk when I'm not facing him. And if I try to face him, I switch places with him. This is like a puzzle. Just to, it's like one of those sliding puzzles, just to talk to somebody. That's not that great. Isn't this place great? I come here all the time. You, yeah, yeah, you and the other guy. I feel like that controller does not need to be in the top right the entire time. It really feels like everything is just cluttered here. Okay, obviously I can't cross the water. Mm, this is the problem I have with a lot of older RPGs. It's sort of like, where the hell do I go? Huh? What the hell just happened? Please, sir. Alms for a humble beggar. Will you give me 50 gold? I don't got 50 gold, do I? No. Get your own gold. Grubber. No, not at all. So you're... Na that, that, that screen went by quickly. I don't know why. Okay, so it looks like we're fighting. Mood, hold, combat, manual, pick, stun. Okay, uh, let's... Let's pick stun. Pick stun. Not really controlling anything here. Casts he casts punch. He said he punches me. You've earned six experience per person. You also captured 20 gold pieces. It's a weird way to say it, that I captured gold pieces. Yay! Okay, cool. I was uh, kind of worrying that we wouldn't even be able to get to a battle. But we did. And now I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. Not even sure how I got here. Okay. Oh, what? How did I get... here from there? Alright, so this is already being a little... confusing with me. Can I get up there? See, what the heck was that? It just, like, got into this so quickly. I'm not sure if that's how it works, or if I'm just doing something wrong. Now, I'm not controlling any of the movement, so I don't know if I can at some point. And now I just moved by myself. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this game. Though it seems like this game could be fun if you know what you're doing. And, I mean, I gotta say, even for 1991, these graphics are lacking a little bit. I mean, and why movement has to be so... I'll say it again, janky. It just feels like everything's... I mean, you can see it doesn't look smooth. Come on, lose your mind. Wasn't I here? Did I loop around? I can't move down. It looks like I can move down there. Can't move to the right. Well, I can move to the right. It just takes a second. That's weird. There's like a delay there. I see the water's on fire. Okay, no. Everyone keep- these guys keep asking me for money. But we captured 20 gold pieces. And... I didn't move! I'm not moving right now, he's moving on his own. What the heck was that about? Now it's kind of hard for me to say if this game is good or not. Because I'm not going to say it's bad just because it's... Movement is a little weird. Because, you know, we've all played older... 
PC games before, and that's what this looks like. This looks like an old ass PC game. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to do. This is the problem with, like, firing up an RPG you've never played if it's older. They do not hold your hand at all. There are a lot of, uh, older RPGs I've tried, like, to get into, just fired them up and, and seen what's up, and I don't get very far, and it's a shame because some of them look really cool. Some first-person, uh, dungeon crawlers and stuff like that. But that's the problem with older games. Where'd that lizard go? I want to see if he'll kill me and put me out of my misery. I ain't giving you shit. And, you know, I guess I haven't even noticed or paid any mind to, but why the hell are we fighting in outer space now? <laughs> he just, like, moonwalks backwards to get the hell away from the enemies. Fancy dance moves. I haven't been this confused by a game in a long time. That looks like a really small house. A ratty little shack on a hill. Okay. Talk. I hate sorcerers. Why are you bothering me? Let's bother you some more. And now we're fighting this guy. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get much further in this game, because, like I've said a few times, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um... The game looks kind of fun, if you know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so, I don't know. If you like older style, you've been killed in battle, your quest is over. Jesus Christ, that screen was so quick, I couldn't even read it. Now we're back at the title screen. Well, you know what? I was trying to wrap up anyway, so I'm just going to say this. This game looks like it has potential, but I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, if you're a fan of older style RPGs and you grew up with them, you might enjoy this one, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to return to this one again. It looks cool, but man, the movement feels stilted uh, and nothing seems very intuitive. It's a little confusing. It's a shame because Naughty Dog, you know, went on to make some really good things. I was hoping to see an inkling of that here, but I did not. So I might play it again one day. Uh, don't count it, though. If you guys have played this game and you know what the hell is going on with it, you know, feel free to comment and let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all again next time on the next episode of Retro Roulette.